All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, we're gonna change out the blades on my well-used LM2135 SP mower from Ego. This is gonna be the first blade change I've done on it, but I've known for some time that I need to do so. So let's take a look on the bottom and show you what I'm talking about. So if we come in close here and inspect the mower's blades, you can see where I've hit things in the past. We're missing a good amount of blade here. So the grass is not happy with me right now. So I'll be changing out the high efficiency mulching blade here and the one behind it on the dual mower blade setup here with what I just got in from Amazon the other day. So I haven't even opened up the box. So let me find my razor blade and open this up. Do a quick unboxing, see what's inside. All right, it's coming green now. So this is the blade that goes in the back. And this is the front mulching blade here. As you can see, it's labeled so that you know which side faces the grass. This particular blade is the high efficiency one. And there's one with like three serrations on the edges that is for high efficiency mulching. So comparing the old one versus the new, obviously this comes in green and uh, that's very important for the underside of your mower. <laughs> And this one has uh, much fewer bite marks taken out of it by uh, rocks and gravel in my lawn. So I should get a nice cleaner cut, which should leave the grass a little bit happier. So let's get to changing out these blades. So first you're gonna need a screwdriver and you need to locate this hole, which might be covered in grass like it was in my case in your situation and stick something along like a screwdriver in it. And that's gonna keep the blades from turning as we go ahead and try and get these nuts off of the uh, the blades here. And what I found is that I needed a 9 16 bit to fit that center nut. And for the outside, a 17 millimeter should work all right. So let's go ahead and loosen that up. That's on there really good. I think I'm gonna try and go for something with a little bit more leverage and uh, these are sharp. So before you start cranking on this thing, you should probably put on some gloves. And I also do not have the battery connected while I'm doing this for extra safety. All right, so since I value my fingers, I went and got gloves. And since I wasn't having any luck with the impact driver on the center bolt, I'm gonna try with the outside bolts first to see if that gives me any uh, more success here. So I have my 17 millimeter bit on my socket wrench here and I'm gonna loosen that up. And you're definitely going to want to save these nuts because the new kits do not include them because they're assuming that you're retaining the old ones. Now for the other mower blade nut, let's take that one off. And give this one more shot with the impact driver now that this is off. It's making me really nervous that that's not coming off. I'll try once more with the wrench maybe. I'll try and really get on it here. All right, so the WD-40 set in there a little bit. Let's see if this has any more luck now. Man, that was on there good. And don't forget the slotted washer as well. So again, you'll need to retain all those parts. All right, so now that we have all that out, I can take out our screwdriver, take out the two old mower blades. And these two bolts that just fell out of the back of the blade are what keep them together. So don't forget these either. I'm gonna take the opportunity to just clean things up a little bit. Now everything's exposed. So we'll just go ahead and slide the string back on the mower shaft. All right, so we're gonna stick these bolts back through the bottom of the new blade. And uh, you'll notice that they're notched here with like a diamond. And that's gonna align with the diamond pattern here. So we're gonna stick that on through the bottom. Do not remove these stickers like I almost did. So before I take the sticker off this Ego Edge Premium Mulching Blade, I just wanted to let you know that this is part number AB2100D, and I'll leave a link in my video description at the bottom, so you can check that out anytime while you're watching. This band-aid be a reminder that you should wear gloves while doing this. So again, we'll reline up our holes here. Double check that this mulching lower blade has the text this side facing grass pointed outward. You have your little X configuration there. Just take your bolts that you saved earlier and sort of just pre-thread those a little bit. So we'll take our 17 millimeter wrench and tighten these up a little bit more. I'm applying pressure on the back so that that little diamond is in the slot to keep the bolt from free spinning. 
All right, now that the plane overhead has stopped for a moment, we can tighten up the second bolt. All right, so those are pretty tight now. So now we're gonna take the mulching blade and his friend and attach it onto the center shaft here of the lawnmower. Looking better already. So now we just need to put our screwdriver back in this uh, special hole here on the underside of the mower's mounting deck so that the blades don't freely spin. So now we'll just take this notched washer that we saved from earlier, put that back onto the lawnmower center shaft and put the center bolt back in and start to hand tighten that. So now we can swap out the 17 millimeter socket for the 9 16ths, the right setting. All right, so that should be on there pretty good now. I'm gonna go back to the 17 millimeter and just go ahead and give these last outer bolts a uh, good tighten. Again, wear gloves. All right, so that should work. Let's give this a test now. All right, battery back in. All right, so as always, I hope you found this review helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you did, and be sure to like and subscribe for more great mowing videos.